Hello everyone, Justin to Gaming here and welcome to episode 2 of How to Win in EASHL. The first episode showed us how to use the space on the outside and behind the net for scoring opportunities. This episode will show us how to use cutting plays to take advantage of small gaps left by the defense for quality scoring chances. Just like last episode, I'll start with offensive tips, followed by defense, and end with goaltending. Feel free to share these tips with your friends or club, and let's get started. Cutting plays involve a few things for the offense. First, they need to see the open space between the defenders and find the way to get there as quickly as possible. If you're the person sending the pass, you need to be able to see that space and find the passing lane to that space. The second tip is always cut with speed towards the far post. Cutting towards the near post will give the player receiving the pass a very difficult angle to beat the goalie. Since he'll be receiving the pass towards the middle of the ice, this gives the shooter a better angle to shoot towards either post. Receive that pass and get ready to shoot because the defense is about to collapse. The most basic and effective cutting play is the give and go. This play is effective against teams that are very aggressive towards the puck carrier. Red sends the puck to green and immediately cuts towards the net. Green is able to find the small passing lane and gets the puck back to red as he beats his man to the net and scores. Cutting isn't just for the forwards. Defensemen can creep towards the net if the other team is collapsing. Taking the open space makes the one-timer closer, faster, and deadlier for the other team to stop. Yellow shoots an absolute rocket at the goalie and the puck still finds its way through. One last tip for the offense, these plays are much more effective if you have a righty cutting towards the right and lefties cutting left. Otherwise the goalie has an easy save based on the shot angle. Defensively everybody has responsibilities. If you're covering the pass so you either have to pressure the puck carrier immediately and knock him off the puck or get ready to block the pass. If you're covering the cutter, don't get beat and get ready to poke or intercept the incoming pass. As a team when the puck is down low, most if not all should be collapsing. A pass to the point would be very difficult from behind the net. For goalies, your chance of making the save will most likely be determined by how you react before the puck is even passed. If the puck carrier is in the corner or half boards, and you see somebody else cutting towards the net, start preparing for that pass. The puck in the corner isn't a threat to score, so it's okay to leave that post if people are crashing your net. Holding that post until the last possible second will make it difficult to push yourself to where you need to be to make the save. So to recap the offense, find the open space between the fenders. Once you find that space, skate towards the far post for the best shooting angle, and last, shoot because the time frame is small before the defense gets to you. Defensively, pressure the puck carrier immediately. If that's not possible, get in that passing lane. When the puck is down low, most of the team should be collapsing to protect the slot area. And if you're not sure of what to do, protect the net. Rarely will you ever go wrong protecting the goalie. Goalies need to be able to see skaters cut towards the net and prepare for a quick centering pass. Next, keep in mind of the cutter's handedness, because if it is a righty cutting towards his left, he'll barely have to move to be in position. And last of all, leave that post if possible and get ready to position yourself towards the cutting player. So that's episode 2 of how to win an EASHL. Hopefully these tips are helping either yourself, your friends, or your club. Don't forget to thumbs up if this video helped, I really appreciate it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'll leave my Twitter handle in the description if you want to stay updated on my channel or just want to chat about EASHL. I'll be streaming Tuesday and Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, so if you want to watch me play, I'll leave my Twitch link below as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.